the Japanese government's handling of the uh, issue is being widely criticized uh, by uh, health experts inside Japan, by the opposition parties, and also more implicitly by foreign governments as well. Uh, Japan has begun to release, uh, as you mentioned, uh, 500 uh, people so far uh, into the general population. Uh, and the contention of the Japanese government is that the 542 people confirmed to have caught the uh, coronavirus on board the ship all had it uh, two weeks ago uh, when the quarantine began. But most all other experts are saying, no, actually, the, the coronavirus has been spreading and the infection has been spreading during the quarantine period. And if that's the case, then the Japanese government is probably unwise to be letting uh, the people uh, leave the ship at this time. Right, not really an effective quarantine if it's spreading on board. And, Michael, we have to talk about the 2020 Olympic Games, of course, which are coming up in just a matter of months in Japan. You know, how this outbreak has been handled, it must be raising concerns about this global event. Uh, certainly. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, uh, on social media, on Japanese language social media, there's been, for example, a sort of... Uh, uh, false rumors about the Olympics being canceled and other things like this. And many of the critics of the Olympics have sort of seized on this as, uh, you know, other evidence that it's not headed for a good future. But the government uh, is planning to carry out the Olympics. There's no change in, in that policy, obviously. Uh, but it, it's certainly something which is dampening spirits. You know, the run up to the Olympics, the excitement and all of the campaign building up to it, clearly that's going to be affected by the coronavirus crisis. And we'll have to see uh, how far the uh, how far the issue has run its course by the time that the games actually begin.